Now one part e, we have eight to the power of negative one third, right? Now the thing about the negative exponents is that if you have a to the power of negative n, that's actually equal to one over a to the power of n. So a to the power of negative one third is actually one over what? One over a to the power of one third. Okay. And what is a to the power of one third? Can you write that as a root? Okay, because we might like it, it's just like these rules here. You have to remember that. You see, if you have a to the power of one over n, okay, that's just the nth root of a, okay. And and again, you can see further videos on the web page uh, to really learn this stuff properly. But a to the power of one third is the third root of eight, okay. And what does that give us? It gives us one over, and what's the third root of eight? What number times itself three times gives eight? Two. So the answer is one half. Notice that a negative exponent does not mean a negative number. When you have a negative exponent, it means the reciprocal. It means get the reciprocal. And now let me write this clearly. This is a to the power of negative one third, in case you couldn't read that. A to the power of negative one third. Okay.